of that old boxy set in the corner and you find yourself peering over your neighbour's fence to catch a glimpse of their big flat panel telly, then chances are you're in the market for an LCD TV. But with the maze of products available out there, you also need a voice of reason to help you sort out the trash from the treasure. Luckily, Peter's here with his top LCD shopping tips. Technology and gadgets, well, they've made our lives lots and lots of fun, but something as simple as buying a TV, well, that's a daunting task now. Buying a flat panel TV, well, it's a big investment of both time and money. It could cost you anywhere from $600 to $15,000. And unless you've got very deep pockets, it's not something you're going to be doing every year. Widescreen, standard def, high def, analog, digital. Then, of course, there's the modern dilemma. Is it plasma or LCD? We're spoiled for choice, but it doesn't even end there. And even if you've decided what format you want, well, there's still a lot of decisions to be made. So let's look at what you need to know if you're going out to buy an LCD TV this weekend. When it comes to deciding the right size of LCD for your living room, it's easy. One is price. That'll determine the size of the screen you can get. But if you want to do the math, there's a very simple way to calculate the perfect size screen for your living room. Take this diagonal distance, so I'll lock that off, and multiply it by two and a half, and that is the distance the screen should be from your chair. Once you've decided which screen size you're after, your next option is resolution, which is measured in pixels, the smallest dot of information your new TV can deliver. A high-res screen will deliver more detail or definition in your picture. Standard resolution is 720 pixels across by 576 pixels tall. High definition starts at 1280 by 720 pixels, but can go as high as 1920 by 1080 pixels. One of the best features about LCDs is that the price has dropped recently, so you're getting a lot of bang for your buck when it comes to even the larger screens. Used to be that LCD was a lot more expensive than plasma in this screen size, but that's not the case anymore. Now here's a Gadget Guy tip. Most LCDs will come with a tuner built in, but check to see whether it's analog or high definition. You'll save quite a bit of money not having to get a set-top box with your LCD, but if you really want to future-proof yourself, then make sure it's a high definition tuner. It's really important to future-proof yourself when you come to buy an LCD panel. So getting a high-resolution panel is important, and I'll give you one reason why. This new DVD format's been released. It's called Blu-ray, and it gives you five times the resolution of current DVD discs. When you see it on a high-definition panel, well, it just looks amazing. Another feature you might want to consider with your LCD screen is front connections. The reason? You might want to plug in a games console, a digital camera, or even a camcorder. And having them on the front just makes it all that much easier. One of the drawbacks with modern home theatre systems is just the sheer number of cables that you need to connect it up. Now, these are all analogue cables, other than this DVI, a digital video interface, but we've replaced all of these cables, in fact, up to 14 cables, with this single HDMI cable. It's high-definition multimedia interface, and what this does is it delivers full high-definition video as well as 7.1 surround sound audio through your system. So a single cable replaces up to 14 other cables. It's a great solution and saves that tangle of spaghetti behind your TV.